Okay, this is a walkthrough of uh, practice uh, test, uh, pra the practice Excel test number three. Uh, again, we start by merging and centering, and we change the color, and we change the height, I mean, we change the uh, size, and we change the row height uh, to whatever, I think it was 25, and um, so there's all sorts of things to type in. Okay, the semester average is computed on the basis of simply the test average plus plus possibly this homework bonus of three. You might remember this from um, a hands-on exercise. So we just say over here the semester average is going to be the test average as a relative reference because it's going to be based on the uh, test average of each individual student. So it's G4 uh, plus um, and then, well, to decide whether we're adding uh, a 0 or a 3, we'll have an if on whether their homework, and this is this individual student's homework, so it's a relative reference. If that is equal to, and then in quotation marks, OK. So if H4 is equal to OK, then give me the homework bonus. This is going to be an absolute reference, a 4. Um, otherwise, it's going to be the... Um, well, we could leave it blank, because then it's going to be false value. False is going to be false, which is going to be zero, and so we'd be adding false, and we'd end up with that result. So we get 80.8 over here, and we uh, that matches the number that it said it would be. We drag these down. Now, for the letter grade, we're going to say a VLOOKUP. Um, and we're going to look up based on the semester average. You know, just I didn't have enough space in the cell. Let's drag this over and move this to the side a bit. It equals VLOOKUP. Oh, we should just and this cell actually equals the lookup um, i4 I could have just typed in i4 and that would have been another way of doing it uh, so i4 is a relative reference the table array that I'm going to be using is going to be this grading scheme I have to go from 0 to A a lot of people make a mistake go from 0 to 90 but it's 0 to the letter A over here press F4 is an absolute reference very critical or else when you copy the formula everything will go haywire column index number is going to be column 2 um, and that's going to give me a B for this student, and then we'll drag down, doo -doo -doo -doo, and we got all the results. Uh, the class average, so we'll do this for test 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the class average is going to be the result of uh, the average of test 1. Uh, the highest grade is going to be equal to the max of test 1. Uh, and the lowest grade is going to be equal to the min of test 1. And you could also ask for the median and the mode and so on and so forth. Now we might want to format this to 1 or 0 places after the decimal, so we would just choose over here. Well, we'll do that actually after we apply all these formulas. We'll drag this across, across, across. We get these results. And it looks like the average over here. Uh, we want to say that there's a number, and uh, whatever it says in terms of the number of places after the decimal point, either 0 or 1, you'd specify that, and that's going to be the class average. Uh, then we're going to just duplicate this. We'll say move or copy, and we'll say create a copy. Um, and here we have gradebook 2, and gradebook 2, I'm going to call it sorted. And I want to sort by semester average over here. So we click in semester average, and I go to data sorting. And I want to sort by semester average in whatever it says in the instructions. So the semester average, I'll format the class average and semester average to do decimal places. So we have to change that. Okay. And we also have to put in a row. Okay, I forgot to put in the row, but uh, that's, uh, I'll just show you how you would insert a row, and that'll that, that'll work. Semester average is in descending order. So that's descending order is largest to smallest, and I'll say okay. That's in descending order. If I wanted to insert something. Um, so whichever, I would uh, choose whatever place I wanted to insert. Control plus will insert one. And then I would put in uh, last name, comma, first name. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and I'd put in all of the numbers, whatever the numbers were specified within... Um, uh, within the test, and we would do that first before making this copy, and that way it would also get sorted. So, uh, anyway, that's test number uh, three. Next, we're going to move on to test number four.